Hello everybody, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Training Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, finally some movement in Bitcoin. I haven't done a video in a couple days because there hasn't been much. I mean, the most exciting thing was this run up and this run down to test the uh, four hour, 200 period simple moving average and then closing back in the range. Finally broken out of the range a little bit and returning to the prior GAN level. 40.10 and this prior resistance you can see right here and right here so and now selling off again so we're still technically in the range we just moved up to the higher end of the range uh slight separation in the rotation zone really if we drop back down below 39.67 then i'll be watching it to to see if we just stay in the range or test the other side key support now coming in about 3900 where we tested down here and the rising 200 that's the key level if we test the lower end of the range now that we'll be watching back above 4010 minor resistance coming in about 4026 and then the major resistance 4046 if we get above there the same levels are still in place as before 40081 and 4117 if you really wanted to, you could do a GAN projection here. It's just going to probably reinforce this level. That's why we're just using the 4,026 area to watch for. Let's check out that daily chart. Daily chart. You can see never got a close below the rotation zone. All these closes in the rotation zone, then rotating back up, but hitting uh, this resistance as we already saw on the four hour chart. Now, if we do go down Tesla lower end of the range, you can see all these tails or wicks down here. Really watch for a daily close. If we get a daily close below 39.27, that would not be a good sign. Then we'd be watching for a retest of 38.81 based off the daily chart and then the lower ranges that are still in play. Switching over to Ethereum. Ethereum also came down, poking through our 131 level, but then closing back above it. Testing it again. There's nothing really going on here. We can just update these lower levels down here in case it does sell off again. Also rotating up like a Bitcoin, getting back in this uh, congestion area. Now moving back down. Key support now coming in. We're really going to be watching about the uh, 137 area right in the middle of the rotation zone. And we have these two GAN levels. If we get a, a move and especially close back below 136.26, this would be a false breakout. Then I'll be watching for lower price action, especially possibly testing the about 132.50 area. If we break below 130.55, you're going to be watching for 128.89 and 127.23. Remember, these are uh, general areas, not exact price targets. Uh, so it could be about 129. To the upside, major, major resistance coming in at 142 to 142.50. So if we turn around, catch on the rotation zone, move back up, that's going to be the key areas for resistance to watch for. And then the upper levels are still the same if we get above 143.83, 146.07, 148.31. Let's switch over to that daily chart. So the rotation zone is not much help here. It's flat right in the middle. Did find some, uh, you know, dip buyers just below this fit or at or below the 50. Not really much to look at unless we get a key close on the daily below about 133.50. Get a close and I'll be really on the daily basis. Then I'll really be watching for the lower price area. Uh, 129. We already talked about 128.50 to 129 is going to be the key little cluster area to the downside. That's all we have for you on Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.